Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. Hope everyone is well. Um, it was one hell of a rough weekend, so I'm behind again. So, that being said, I'm just going to let the cards pick who I read at this point. Taurus will go last, of course, because they went first last um, Zodiac season. And Gemini has already had their reading for the second half of June, so... Yes, the other ten signs, we're just going to pick a card, so... Virgo, you're up. Okay. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. Your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings. Those might resonate a little bit better. I'm available for personal readings if you feel so inclined. The information about that is in the description of this video as well as the about section of the channel. Time and energy are both fluid, all things can be vice versa. Without further ado. Let's see what the cards have for Virgo for the second half of June. Okay. Why are you here, Virgo? Ten of Pentacles. This is like the dream. This is the, the big brick house with the white picket fence and the pool and the 2.5 kids and the dog and all that happy jazz. You're doing well right now, Virgo. Hmm. Well. So if you're doing so well, why have you come? How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Ooh, seven of Wands in the reverse. The person you're dealing with, you feel like they might be a little bit out of control? Possibly? What do you think of them? High Priestess in the Upright. You could feel like they're extremely intuitive. You definitely feel a connection. Like, 5D level connection. Like... You could dream about this person. You may just kind of feel like you've known them before. It's one of those strong, eerie connections. What do you want from them? Three of Cups. Celebration. Reunion. Unity. Okay. How do they feel about you? The sun. They feel the connection too. You may bring them great happiness and great joy. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Taurus is on the board. A little bit of earth, a little bit of fire, a little bit of water. What do you think? Of, what do they think of you? What do they think of you? Ace of Cups in the reverse. The cup is empty. Maybe this is having issues getting started. Hmm. What do they want from you? Star in the reverse. Let me throw a clarifier on that before I speak a whole lot about it. Typically, when the star comes up in reverse, there's a healing that needs to take place that hasn't yet. There's... an interruption in the flow of energy. Specifically, that 5D kind of energy. 
Hmm. That's interesting. What's the obstacle? Five of Wands reversed. Someone could be avoiding conflict. What needs to be done? Four of Pentacles. Holding back? Maybe someone's holding back and needs to let go. We'll throw some clarifiers on it. Just give me a second here. All right. This is mysterious. Virgo, usually your readings are a little bit more straightforward than this. What's going on? Maybe that Ten of Pentacles is a goal. I just saw a headline pop up and... I'll have to read that article later. I love this Chromebook. Lots of crazy stuff pops up on it all the time. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Going to get some clarity on the cards in the table for Virgo for the second half of June, please. One card for the Seven of Wands reversed. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? Thank you. Nine of Pentacles in the upright comes out. <laughs> okay. That sheds a little bit of light on that. Seven of Wands reversed, you know, you could feel like they're a little bit out of control, but clarifying the Nine of Pentacles in the upright, you could feel like they're battling some kind of inner demon, possibly covering it up with this face of I'm good. I'm, you feel like they're strong and independent and they've got themselves. They're only one pentacle away. But there's that inner demon. Sometimes that inner demon is an inner demon of self-doubt. And maybe they have a little bit of an out of control side about them. But for the most part, they're grounded. Money in the bank. Got nine pentacles of their own. Three of Wands reversed came out. Somebody's not waiting around. Could be you, could be them. Why is the High Priestess here? Hi! Where are you flying off to? Hmm? Where do you think you're flying off to? King of Swords. honest, level-headed. They make logical decisions, not emotional ones. But you feel this deep connection with them. One more. One more. Just, oh, okay, hi. Queen of Pentacles. You think they're the catch. They are indeed a catch, Virgo. Okay. 
strong, independent, self-assured, logical, level-headed. Why is the Three of Cups here for what you want? Why is the Three of Cups here for what Virgo wants? Thank you. The Hanged Man comes out. Reunion, celebration, acceptance, seeing things from a different perspective. One more. Thank you. Knight of Wands. You could want them to be a little bit more spontaneous. You could want them to see things through your eyes. Or you could want to see things through their eyes. I mean, take it however it resonates. But you want the reunion. You want the happiness. You want the joy. Why is the sun card here for how the other person feels about Virgo? King of Wands reversed. Ah, okay. You bring them great happiness and great joy and they definitely feel the connection, but they do not feel like you're a go-getter. One more. Strength reverse, you're not a go getter. Possibly a little bit too submissive, a little too easygoing. A little bit of a lack of trust. They may feel like the connection's running out of steam and it's starting to become draining. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed here? What the other person thinks of Virgo? Hi. Three of Swords reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Nothing in the cup. Avoidance of conflict. Coming out of a state of heartbreak, avoidance of conflict, there's nothing in the cup. I'm going to throw one more on that. Because I'm I keep hearing negate of all emotion. Avoidance of conflict, like there's a fear. Four of Wands. You're afraid to walk through the door. They think you're afraid to walk through the door. You're afraid to speak how you feel because you're coming out of a state of heartbreak. There's a lack of trust. Like, you're not going for it. You want to, you're just not doing it. Okay. Why is the star reversed here? Six Pentacles reversed.
laying something to rest, allowing something to come back into a balance, allowing a healing to take place. One more. Mm, I'm going to put you back in. I think I dropped you. The moon. Virgo, whatever you're coming out of, they want you to just on with it and come out of it. They don't even necessarily want to know what it is. There's, there's an air of mystery. With this moon card, things being blown out of proportion. It goes back to dragging your baggage with you. Maybe you're the one that needs to be a little bit more spontaneous. All things are fluid. All right, so the challenge here is the Five of Wands reversed. The Five of Wands reversed is avoidance of conflict. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? The cards come together once you throw a couple clarifiers on them, you know? Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? reversed. All the way over there, really. The chariot. Me and my fuzzy camel pants. I apologize if I just mooned anyone. Oh. King of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed in the chariot. Avoidance of conflict. Someone being pulled in two different directions. Things grinding to a halt. Forward movement. Okay, so clearly there's a conversation that's been avoided. And I think someone's done avoiding the conversation. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for what needs to be done? Three of Pentacles upright. Seven of Swords. Oh. Secrets need to come out. Things need to be let loose. Conversation that's been avoided needs to happen. And it needs to be mutual. If this is resonating, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If it's not resonating, it's probably not your reading. One more. I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising. Five of Pentacles reversed. Someone needs to not be terrified of being left out in the cold. It's not going to be a rerun, Virgo. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but someone is avoiding a rerun. You know when you were a kid and you were always told, don't touch that pot on the stove, it's hot, you're going to burn yourself. And then you touched it. Well, for some of us, it took four or five times of touching the hot pan on the stove to learn. 
I think someone's afraid to even test the waters because they've been burned so many times. Whoever this is resonating with, I don't think you're going to get burned. But I think if you don't at least put your, you know, you got to put your feet in the water to get wet. If that makes any sense to anybody. Oh, my grandmother's advice is just spiraling through my head right now. All right, let's get your advice. Ah, yes. The Hermit and the Six of Swords. Maybe time for a little bit of self-reflection and introspection and finally moving on from something that you haven't quite left behind. Forward movement. Forward movement. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Fool. Stop putting energy into things that no longer serve you. And move on to new and exciting things. Life's journey. Keep walking. It's a fun and amazing journey. You just gotta let your feet walk. Don't stay stuck. High Priestess in the reverse and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Pride sucks. It does. It's a huge lump. And sometimes when our egos are wounded, it's very hard to let go of things and move forward. But it may be time to do so. Because you could be missing a beautiful connection if you don't. Because you were afraid to get your feet wet. You're not sticking your feet in a bottle in a pot of boiling water on the stove. Two of swords in the upright and temperance in the reverse. I'm not sure what this has to do with it, but we're gonna run with it anyway. Take the blindfold off and get all the information possible before you make a decision. And stop being so impatient with yourself and with the other person. All things in time. Okay, Virgo. I don't know who this resonated with. This is what I have for you for the second half of June. Let me know. Send an email. I love emails. Emails are wonderful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. If you're in need of a personal reading, you know where to find it. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I love you guys to bits. You know I do. Special place in my heart for Virgos. I'd love to be more like you. See you next time.